Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Tyler or the Cosmic Spider here playing some more Call of Duty Black Ops 3. This is Search and Destroy on Redwood. This is a very awesome and entertaining gameplay. It's it's a high kill search and destroy gameplay, but it's also pretty cool because these guys go three up on us right at the beginning and then we come back and take that win four to three. So that was amazing. Uh, but that's stuff I want to talk about later in this video. Uh, right now I want to kind of tell you guys what I will be talking about in these search and destroy videos because they're typically going to be longer. And so what I'm going to use them for is to talk to you guys more on a personal level. Because I've been wanting to do this for a while. I've just, you know, with free for all and stuff, it's kind of hard because you kind of have to use the entire match, no editing, and that kind of stuff, and that gets super boring because on free for all, there's a lot of like running around trying to find things to do, and <clears throat> that just gets old. So I don't really want to do that. I will just sit here and uh, we'll talk to you guys over search and destroy gameplay because I do like to play search. But. I do have to apologize because I just woke up. I definitely will not be doing commentaries when I just wake up all the time for these videos, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm in the mood to do it. I've seen that I've been growing pretty well lately. Um, you know, we're at like 371 subs now, which is crazy because I think we were just at like 360 last week this time. So that's awesome. I really do appreciate every single one of you guys who subscribes and who is active on my videos. Um, so. I don't know, maybe once we hit around 500 subs, you guys can tell me what kind of video you want to see. If you want to see like a personal thing, yeah, we can do like a QA. and a I don't really care. Like, I'll answer any question. I really don't care. I'm not like super secretive about my life, so we can do a Q&A. We can do, you know, whatever, open lobbies. I don't even know if open lobbies are like a thing anymore. I remember when I started YouTube, it was MW3. That was the game that was out. And open lobbies were such a big deal like everybody wanted to be in an open lobby with me and i was like that was cool because i love playing games with friends and so that was awesome but like nobody ever asks for like open lobbies anymore i don't know if it's just like people already have friends or people like don't really care anymore and they just want to play by themselves i really don't know but i want to go back to open lobbies so i don't know maybe i'll just host open lobbies anyway and then if you guys want to join if you have a playstation 4 that kind of thing i do have an xbox one so i could get go or er, ghost black ops 3 for the xbox one as well and play with you guys um there but that's just really only if you tell me down in the comments that you have an xbox one and you want to play with me so i can buy it if you want to so um, yeah, so Open Lobby's 500 subs should be here. Oh my god, it's gonna get here, like, hopefully within a couple months. I hope to be at 500 subs. That's gonna be awesome, especially, I don't know, man. The thing with YouTube is, like, I don't really care that much for subs. Like, I, I love that you guys do subscribe, and I do want people to subscribe. Obviously, that's why I keep making content, but I'm just saying, like, for me, it's less about how many subscribers can I get, and it's more about how many active subscribers can I get? Like, I want people that are gonna leave comments on every video and like like the videos or dislike it, you know, let me know what you think, that kind of thing. Like, I want that, I want interaction. I want people to go follow me on Twitter and like talk to me on Twitter and that kind of stuff because to me, that's just more fun. Like, you could have a channel with a million subs and none of them ever do anything on your channel and that, like, you might as well have zero subs, you know what I mean? So, the fact that I'm getting some people that are pretty active on the channel, that's awesome you know people who leave comments on every video that's amazing um and so i can't wait to see where my channel goes i'm really excited um to get there so yeah i've been saying i'm um, a lot lately but anyway so we're going to use these videos these longer videos to talk about life events maybe something you can relate to maybe something you can't maybe it's something that you've thought about and maybe now i'm going to give you some information about that and so it can help you out in the long run but uh, first, let's talk about the pistol. Most every game that you see me upload from now on is probably going to have me using a pistol. Because this pistol setup, like all the pistols in this game are amazing. Like honestly, I can't even get over just how good these pistols are. I use the MR6 because I like the Shiva, but I don't like how, how it fires so slowly, sorry. So the MR6 is kind of like a, a a shiva but you can fire as fast as you want like that's why i love it because i do have a quick trigger finger i mean i get accused of having a freaking modern controller all the time but it's just like 
I don't know, man. I, I like it. All right, it takes a lot of shots. I understand that, but I like it because I can get those shots off quickly. The Shiva is just—it's too slow, man. It's too slow. So a lot of my games will be using a pistol. I think yesterday alone, I got like 1,700 kills with this gun, and um, that's quite a bit. That's like the most kills I have with any weapon. So yeah. So anyway, let's talk about some things that are going to be happening shortly. Um, work, <laughs> work starts back up on Monday. That is so terrible. I, I don't listen. I don't hate my job. All right, but I am a government worker, and basically what that means is you don't really work that much. Like government work is so easy. It's ridiculous. Like I think the military is definitely the easiest job I've ever had. Now it's not like, you know, it's not just the job portion that makes the military not for everybody. There are certain aspects of the military that people just don't like, um, just like the structure, that kind of thing. But honestly, I don't know. For the, me, the military feels like a regular job. Like, yeah, we have like sergeants and we have, you know, officers and that kind of stuff that kind of, go in and out all the time um but it's no different like your sergeants and stuff like our staff sergeant my staff sergeant is just like my supervisor at walmart you know what i mean like they have the same not necessarily the same job but they hold the same purpose like they're there to supervise you and make sure that you're getting what you need to work and that kind of stuff make sure you're upgrade up on your training that kind of thing and then you have like your techs who are in charge of your supervisors. So they might be like a zone manager or something at Walmart. And then you have your masters who are your shop chiefs and that'd be like an assistant manager, that kind of thing. And then you have like your um, flight commander, which is our LT. And he would, I guess, be more like the manager. I don't know. Maybe the commander would be the manager. I don't really know. The commander should be like the CEO. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm, I'm just basically telling you like the military structure is basically the same as a civilian job as far as what importance each role plays. So, I don't know, for me, I feel like the military is just like a job. Okay. I'm not planning on staying in for 20 years. I'm probably gonna get out after four because I'm gonna get what I wanted. I'm gonna get my education benefits and I'm going to get my um, discipline that I needed because I didn't have discipline growing up. That's one thing I, I can't, it makes me sad about today's youth is a lot of them don't get disciplined properly because they really can't. Like. You're getting disciplined by getting your console taken away or your cell phone taken away. Like, that doesn't really teach you anything because you can just go get on something else. Like, oh, well, I don't even know if you guys go to libraries anymore, but you can go to the library and get on the internet there. Like, the groundings and stuff today just make no sense to me. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. But until next time, guys, I love you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe for more Call of Duty. I love you. Talk to you later.